Good day. Here are the top stories of the Manila Times for Sunday, December 5, 2021. The page one banner headline reads, Omicron detected in 38 nations, says WHO. The Omicron variant has been detected in 38 countries, but no deaths have yet been reported. The World Health Organization or WHO said on Friday, Saturday in Manila, as authorities worldwide rushed to stem the heavily mutated COVID-19 strain spread amid warnings that it could damage the global economic recovery. Concepcion says alert level 2 in Metro Manila. Presidential advisor for entrepreneurship Jose Maria Joey Concepcion III said the government should retain the national capital region under alert level 2 for the remainder of the year to keep the country's economy open amid the threat of Omicron, the new variant of COVID-19. Go to withdraw from presidential race at right time. Senator Christopher Lawrence Bongo will formalize his withdrawal from the 2022 presidential race at the right time, as he advised supporters to stop camping outside the Commission on Elections in Manila to avoid getting infected with COVID-19. Pope Francis Condemns Migrant Slavery and Torture Pope Francis condemned on Friday slavery and torture suffered by people fleeing war and poverty, speaking at a prayer service for migrants on a visit to the divided island of Cyprus. Laxon promises good government via fiscal reforms. Partido Reforma chairman and presidential aspirant Senator Panfilo Ping Laxon vowed a corruption-free government through exhaustive fiscal reforms if elected in the May 9, 2022 national elections. 15,000 jobs up for grabs in Labor Anniversary Fair More than 15,000 local and overseas jobs are up for grabs during the 88th Foundation Anniversary Celebration of the Department of Labor and Employment on Monday. In regional news, PNP chief orders probe on NGCP tower bombing. Philippine National Police or PNP Chief General Leonardo Bernardo Carlos ordered the Bangsamoro Autonomous Regional Police Office to conduct a thorough investigation on the bombing of a National Grid Corporation of the Philippines or NGCP Transmission Tower on Thursday. In world news, Omicron highlights danger of jab inequality, says WHO. As new COVID-19 variant Omicron makes its way to more countries and has renewed concerns about its health impact, experts have warned that its emergence is a stark reminder of the real danger of global vaccine inequality. Russia to launch world's fastest missile Russian President Vladimir Putin said tests of the Zircon hypersonic missiles, the fastest the world will ever witness at 1,000 km per hour, are almost completed. In business, NEDA backs for 10-point economic recovery plan. The National Economic and Development Authority, or NEDA, has proposed a 10-point policy plan to help the country recover from the COVID-19 pandemic and prepare for future outbreaks. And in sports, Clippers hold off Lakers. Luke Kennard scored 17 of his 19 points in the second half and hit two clutch three-pointers in the final minutes, sending the Los Angeles Clippers to a 199-115 victory over the Los Angeles Lakers on Friday, Saturday in Manila. Marlon Ronquillo is the featured columnist on the front page of the Times. He hypothesizes should the May 2022 election results go awry. In the Times editorial, it has expressed how the Obiena Patafa row deeply concerning. Read all about it. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print, subscribe to our digital edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and keep up with the Times. With Eric John Seikua, Paolo Dimapi, and Christian Maganoy, this is the Fort Villasaran reporting. Have a great week!